Chelsea Handler, welcome to the show. Hi, Trevor. How are you? I'm, I've been better, but I'm good. I'm yeah. getting better every day. How are you? I'm doing well. I noticed that you got some a new studio here. The last time I was here, we were somewhere else. Y yes, which means we weren't here, but yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it means. Anyway, congratulations on the upgrade. The um, green rooms were delightful. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's like a work in progress of life. And I feel like we're all in it right now. It's like nothing is back to normal. We're in the hybrid phase. And then, you know, we're going to get ready to go back to a different phase of life. And let's talk about you and your phases, though. People's Choice Award, congratulations. Oh my God, I beat you in the People's Choice Best Comedy Tour category. I was in the category? Yeah, you were nominated for a People's Choice Award, but then I won. Well, I wouldn't say congratulations had I known. I just oh. thought you won an award and oh, I was happy for you. Oh, I thought you were being a big boy about it. Good. I was gonna say, great, look at you. No. No, okay, well, no. let's take it back, you guys. Let's go back. <laughs> no, but for real, congratulations. Thank you, um, thanks. And uh, congratulations, like for me, I think, you know, for all of us as comedians, the Grammy nomination, I mean, you know? This yeah. is your first one, right? First. No, I was in Hawaii with uh, Joe Coy, and I woke up, and I, yeah, this was definitely my first one. And I got a, a text from my agent, and she said, you've been nominated for a Grammy Award. And I was like, a Grammy for what? <laughs> I mean, the irony. I have, yes. like, no rhythm. Yes. I can't sing. I yes. can't dance. And so I was like, Joe, I've been nominated for a Grammy. He's like, you kidding me? <laughs> so that's exciting. That's I feel like so all cool. all comedians have that feeling. It literally is a weird feeling, because you don't think of the Grammys as including, like, stand-up in that way. Yeah. Because you do have the comedy album as well. And so, I mean, I, I was just happy for you, because I feel like you've just... Chelsea, you've been making hits for a very long time. Like, you're a best-selling author. Right, what is it, five or six books now? How many? Six, number six one books. New York Times best-selling books. I mean, but who am I, I mean, to brag? You know, know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I just want to set the record straight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you have, I mean, every TV show has been a hit. And now we're seeing the new Chelsea, the Chelsea in Love. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, right. People love it. They love to see me in love. Well, I think because for a long time, people have only seen you as, like, the horny Chelsea. I mean, like, even your truth, like, <laughs> vaccinated and horny. Like, we know, like, that Chelsea's like, I'm drinking wine, I'm horny. And now this Chelsea's like, well, I'm, I'm in love. It's yeah, very different. I'm still horny, but more directed <laughs> at one person now than it's ever been. And yeah, it's really nice to see the reaction from people being so happy that I'm in love. Like, I didn't realize how many people were rooting for me, you know? Like, I want to give people, women my age, hope. Like, you know, if you don't settle for all these idiots out there, the good one is going <laughs> to come. And I mean, for men and women alike, you know, and people who don't identify as either, it's like, when you set the standard for yourself, yeah. the, the tide rises. I and like that. Yeah, I think I like that's that. true. One thing I've always wondered, though, is like what it's like to date a comedian. I, I don't think I ever could because I don't know... Like, what are the rules? If you're dating a comedian, then who gets the jokes? Because at some point you're having a conversation, a brilliant premise comes up, who gets it? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're pretty good about sharing that, you know? And Joe is like a... He's not your typical comedian. No, he's not. He's very, very bright and cheerful, and it's infectious, you know? He keeps everybody kind of up, up. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a lot to handle, especially for me, because I'm such a sinister bitch. I'm like, what? And, but then after a while, it wears off on you. You're like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty happy, too, these days. So uh, we split the jokes, you know? Like, if he comes up with a... He sleeps with a CPAP machine on his face, for instance, because he's sleep apnea. So he sleeps oh, wow. with like this one of the, like the... contraption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I so... tried that. It was terrible. Oh, do you have sleep apnea? No, I just tried the machine. <laughs> it was just like a phase I was going through. <laughs> and I was just like, let's see how this goes. <laughs> He sleeps with one of those on, and that's like, it's like when he puts that on, it's like he is going into a submarine for the rest of wow. the night. You know, it's out. Yes. See you later. Yes. I'll see you in the morning. Right. Yeah, and there's I... no, like, romance with those things. There's no. no interruption of anything. No, yes. no, no. It's like you're on life support the whole night and then wake yeah, up. Yeah, he's trying not to die all night long. And then in the morning, he wakes up to this piece of work. <laughs> so I told him, you know, I was like, listen, he said something about the way I sleep, and I said, listen, I'm going to bed with an octopus every single night, so why don't you go... And and he, he uses that in his stand-up, you know. That, oh, I like that, okay. Because he talks about his sleep apnea. Apparently, everybody's got sleep apnea, and most people don't know about it. So all wow. these men out there, I understand it's a contraption, and it's not hot. No, it's not. Not, but I mean, if I'm sitting there sleeping with it every night, I bet you there's a lot more women I out there. I think that's a, that's like the definition of love. That's like true love, yeah. is if you can see pap at night with the person next to you. Yeah, that's Then you know test. it's love. Right, exactly. Yeah. You talk about everything in your stand-up. I've always envied that about you, to be honest. Like, I, I love how you just, you share everything in your life, you'll you'll make jokes about it, you'll have fun with it. There's no barriers for you. I mean, you even joked about you wanting 
to have sex with Andrew Cuomo and then, like, dealing with, like, the him now being canceled and also just, like, being found guilty of things, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. Like, as Chelsea Handler, I'd love to know where you got that confidence just to do that. Like, where did that come from? Oh, well, thanks. I mean, I have a lot of misplaced confidence. For a long time, I thought I could sing and dance until I tried out for the cheerleading squad and they tested me for scoliosis the next day. <laughs> so I have a lot of confidence in areas until somebody flashes a big red light and says, don't do it. The Andrew Cuomo thing was very funny because when that didn't work out with, you know, Andrew Cuomo, like, he, nothing ever happened between us, but I had a big, you know, loud crush on him. My sister's like, mom is cock blocking you from heaven. And I go, really, that's what you think mom is doing up in heaven, <laughs> cock blocking me? She's like, yeah, you need to be cock blocked by these people. And then, yeah, she's like, if you were with Andrew Cuomo, you would have never met Joe Coy. She's like, mom's at work up there. I like that. Um, you're on tour. It's still happening. You've won the award for it over me. Congratulations. Um, that sounded very angry. You got angry. the Grammy. No, I'm not angry. angry. I'm just bitter. Or bitter. I think I. It's it's the time of the tragedy has not passed yet for me. Oh right. Because I just found soon. out about it. You you sat down right. here. This is <laughs> like just... yeah. This is a <laughs> horrible time for me to find out. So we got the tour. Uh, you got the Grammy nomination. What are you looking forward to? Um, I've been really enjoying being on the road for this tour. It's been, a, it's so great to be a reason, as you well know, to bring people back together yeah. for the very first time, yeah. to remind people about togetherness and humanity and, you know, not focus on the politics of yeah. everything right, right now because I'm so exhausted by all of that, too. Yeah, it's, I think everyone is, it's, yeah. Yeah, everyone's sick of it. Yeah. Everyone's sick of me hearing and talking about it and people are <laughs> sick of talking about it. So it's been nice to have, like, a celebratory fun, you know, making fun of all the behavior we all got up to during yes. COVID, yes. which was seriously embarrassing. I mean, I was Ooh, Windexing. You were embarrassed? I was Windexing my food, my takeout food, oh, for about three months. you were one of those, Chelsea. So I didn't get COVID, wow. but I probably have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. It's always a pleasure having you. I think this is the fifth time I've had you on the show. Congratulations on love. Congratulations on all the success. And I uh, hope to see you again for the next one. Thanks. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you so much. All right, people. Tickets for Chelsea's Vaccinated and Horny Tour are available at ChelseaHandler.com.